Hey everyone, hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I want to do a quick video review on using the Zekbeck Tri-Screen 2. So some of you might have seen this on social media, it's essentially a portable two-screen attachment that you put onto your laptop, and that essentially gives you a total of three screens, and uh, I guess kind of the big perk about this is that number one, it's a pretty quick plug and play and carry. And number two, it's actually that you're going to get three screens uh, total. And it fairly should, I, you know, I've tried this actually before. It's fairly easy to set up. Uh, but I want to kind of give you my personal thoughts on, you know, using this uh, device. And who it's really for, who could really use this, and some kind of the cool perks about it over here. So as you see here, this is what it looks like on kind of some uh, generic laptop and uh, just kind of got open and I'll kind of show you guys essentially uh, what makes this you know a useful device and who it's really for and who can really you know take most advantage of it um, the packaging is pretty straightforward and simple I, I like it it's you know very sturdy very premium I, I know this is not a very cheap item uh, it's 499 I believe, in terms of uh, its full retail price. Uh, I purchased this online directly from Zekbeck. Uh, I also had to purchase the adapter, or the tri-screen adapter, because I have a first-generation MacBook uh, M1. So uh, let me uh, open this package up, show you the internals, and um, you know, show the setup. Okay, so here it is, uh, opened up, as you can see here. It's very Mac-like or Apple-like in terms of packaging. It says for yourself, uh, there it is. There it is, my Zekbeck has a nice cushion to protect the actual Zekbeck itself. And um, pretty straightforward and clean, nice sleek black. Um, off the top impression, uh, just kind of holding it. Gotta use two hands for this. Um, it is somewhat fairly heavy. I know it only weighs two pounds, but it's not exactly like, hey, this is a you know one-handed carry. Uh, this will though go pretty nicely flush in your in your book bag uh, with the MacBook. Um, and I guess here, just kind of the inside, you kind kind of get some of your your packaging. Um, let me just turn this around pretty quickly. Um, here's the screens. And yeah, I'll just put this off to the side, show you guys the inside. And it's pretty straightforward. Here's kind of all the accessories uh, uh, that you'll need to attach it to your laptop. So depending on what you need, uh, you either need the two HDMI to mini HDMI cables, the two X uh, or the two USB-A to USB-Cs. And you also get like a USB-C 93 pass-through charging jab adapter. That's primarily for those who have a MacBook M1 and you only have two um, USB-C ports. And then on this side, you'll get uh, two USB-C to USB-C cables and a USB-C extender. So um, that's pretty much it. Comes with everything that you mostly need to do for attaching to your laptop, except if you have a Mac MacBook M1. In that case, you do need the tri-screen adapter. Uh, so let me show you uh, my quick setup and we'll take it from there. Okay, so here's my setup of using the Zekbeck Tri-Screen 2. So I actually didn't want to use all their uh, kind of attachments. Um, so here you see is the Tri-Screen Adapter 2. I'll just kind of turn it around so you guys can see it. Um, this is what you need if you have a MacBook M1 Pro uh, Generation 1. So. Uh, the reason you need this is because um, your MacBook only has two USB-Cs and, you know, that's just how it works. Um, so a little bit of uh, what I did here is I didn't like using all their attachments. I want to kind of keep things as, you know, minimal as possible. So they actually have a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which was a little bit longer. I actually just purchased a cheaper, like a really cheap uh, like $5 USB-A to USB-C converter. Uh, and that basically just shortens like kind of the distance by maybe like three inches. Uh, and so it just prevents you having to have more dongles to dongles. Uh, in addition, they do come, uh, as you'll see here, this is a USB-C cable uh, to USB-C, which goes from this end of my laptop 
to the uh, right side screen. Now what Zach Beck does is they actually provide you one USB-C uh, male to USB-C female, and then they give you another USB male to USB male uh, wire that you attach to uh, that to the second screen. Now I didn't like using that just mainly because um, I didn't want to have multiple wires. So I actually just purchased a one foot USB-C or one and a half foot USB-C to USB-C. So that way I only just use one cable uh, to go from my laptop to the screen instead of uh, what Zach Beck is providing, which is basically two USB-C cables that you have to attach together. And again, that just prevents the number of, or you know, limits the number of wires that I need to set my tri-screen up. Now, um, some of the perks of this is that, again, who is this for? Uh, this is my work area, okay? So it is very small. Um, and, you know, again, this makes having three screens much easier, uh, much cleaner, and much simpler because it's essentially small form factors. Now, each of these two screens is 1080p. So if you have a 4K screen or something in 1440, um, uh, unfortunately, this, uh, you're only going to get 1080p on both sides. I actually have them in 720p, I think, in, in one of my screens. Uh, and my typical setup is like, listen, I got my email on one side, I got my main screen over here, and then I have whatever chat uh, stuff that I need to look at. So that's basically it. I mean, if you need three screens, you need three screens. You, you'll know what you need them for. Um, now again, for someone like me who's a lot of doing a lot of like Word documentation and whatnot, and having to go back and forth between Excel, et cetera, et cetera, this is great, this is helpful, this is very useful for me. Uh, however, for people who are more so into like video editing, I'm not so sure this might be as useful uh, for you guys. Uh, I would assume it is because, you know, it helps to have multiple screens. My only uh, thing is if you are doing video editing, uh, you know, typically, uh, you know, it helps to have big screens and these are very small screens. Uh, so you have to kind of make that judgment call, uh, if it's going to be enough for your viewing, um, canvas per se, if you need this for, uh, watching or, you know, doing your timeline edits, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, I've done a little bit of video editing using the, the Tribex screens. Uh, they're pretty good in my opinion. Uh, again, I'm used to looking at small screens, so it's just uh, your, I guess, preference that if you're able to kind of do editing on small screens to begin with. Uh, definitely though, for um, a lot of more office-like work, this is very helpful. Um, the, the two screens, even though they're small, uh, very legible in my opinion in terms of like uh, being able uh, to see what you need to read and more importantly I think from a efficiency standpoint uh, everything you know comes out you know very well detailed on these screens uh, you know despite them being portable um, the resolution is very good in my opinion uh, and, and they're very high quality uh, the screens themselves, the brightness factor, you can adjust them on both sides. And to me, uh, the Zekbeck screens are, are, you know, very high quality monitors in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, for $4.99, uh, you know, while it is, you know, it may sound expensive, I think for what you're getting, which is uh, the ability to have a three screen set up in a very small footprint, uh, is great, the fact that it's portable, and the fact that they are pretty high quality. Uh, that to me is, is great. My only suggestions um, are, you know, again, the, the, the purpose of this is to be portable. So I do suggest that if you could uh, purchase a USB-A to USB-C kind of adapter, right, instead of using theirs. And then in addition, you know, buy like a one and a half foot USB-C to USB-C uh, cable instead of their two USB-C cable setup. And the reason I say that is because again, it just limits the um, number of cables that you need to be, you know, and, and dongles that you need while, you know, porting this around. Uh, now, some of my issues with this, um, full transparency, this is actually the second uh, Zach book that I've had. But as you'll notice here, uh, there is this guy, which is the, um, I guess you could say the, the kickstand. 
it is kind of kind of hard to see it, but it is starting to curve a bit. And you know, I, this is the first time I'm using this, right? The first time that I'm using this Zach Beck screen. So uh, unfortunately, or this Zach Beck screen, um, and I say this Zach Beck screen because I actually had another one ordered and unfortunately the kickstand, uh, it wouldn't go in properly and flush. And let me kind of show you guys what I mean by that. Um, bit hard here holding it so I'm gonna so as you see here um, I'm trying to kind of get this in flush and it, it doesn't go in properly flush now uh, unfortunately it just it just sticks out and to me that was not good uh, I expect something to be flush when I you know put back the kickstand in uh, and so they actually said to go ahead, bring that back in for warranty. I did. And unfortunately I got a new model and it still has the same problem. So I'm not quite sure if this is just another defect one or uh, I shouldn't say a defect, but basically a, just another model that unfortunately has a bad kickstand on it. So it is something that I do kind of feel a little bit annoyed by, unfortunately. And, um, just kind of dealing with it right now. But other than that, uh, who is this for? This is for really people, I would say, who have small spaces, number one, and love to use three screens. Number two, people who need a little bit of um, more canvas to be able to have more productivity. Now you can say like, hey, you could just get an ultra wide screen and doing this. Uh, it's not the same. I think having three screens actually kind of helps you organize uh, your desktop a little bit better in terms of like having to go from back and forth. And unfortunately, this is a, you know, for using a wide screen, it's just a big palette. Having it in this three screen setup actually allows you to say, I'm gonna look at something here, look at something here, look at something there. And it organizes uh, your desktop setup a lot better. I, you know, those, those of you who use three screens, you know what I mean by that. Um, it's also great for people who are kind of like on the go uh, and need to bring three screens with them. Now, um, this is not exactly light and this does not exactly, um, you can't just like fold your laptop and expect that, okay, I'm gonna close it up and, um, how do I best phrase this? I'm gonna close this, my laptop up and then I'm going to, you know, walk with it. That, that's not quite true how this works, unfortunately. Uh, you cannot just properly close, you, you, you know, while you, yes, you can fold into two screens, you can't just like, you know, close your laptop. Unfortunately, you do have to take out the screen uh, and then uh, carry it with you portably. It is not something that, uh, at least with a MacBook M1 Pro, that you could just, um, how do I best say this, that you could just uh, close up and that's it. It is something that you do have to, uh, you know, properly uh, take out and close in. So anyways, guys, uh, my opinion of this is that I do love my Zach Beck. I do think it's a great device. I do think it is, um, you know, useful for helping out with your productivity. And I do think for the, the quality of the product, the sturdiness and the benefits of it, it is worth the $4.99 price tag. So um, I know like I don't really go too in depth in terms of like how you set it up. There's other videos out there. Uh, there's a, another girl, I believe her name is Stephanie Teeley who wrote a video of how to set it up. Her video was fantastic. My, again, my suggestions in terms of my setup was, you know, trying to limit down the wires. So just getting your own USB-A to USB-C dongle, your own USB-C to USB-C uh, cable. That's one and a half foot. So you just limit the uh, number of wires needed, but other than that, I think this is a fantastic product. Um, and my opinion, one of the better tri screens out there. Uh, and again, it's also compatible with the MacBook M1 Pro, which many are not. So, uh, with that said, this is great for working professionals, creative professionals. Um, for creative professionals, just be aware that again, you have to, you know, be mindful and knowing that, like you're gonna be working on 11 inch screens. Is this going to be okay for uh, your, your, your viewing uh, canvas? Uh, other than that, I think this is, or not other than that, but I, I think overall, this is a fantastic product. Uh, so let me know your thoughts or questions below. And um, 
my suggestion. It is a definite must buy for those who need that additional uh, viewing, uh, desktop viewing, while limited space and having the need to be out and about. Anyways, this is Neon Polygons. Thanks all again for watching. Catch you all again soon.